Hey, and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about branding. Not in the typical marketing sense, but applying logos to your bass drum head that look clean and professional. Most drum kits already come with a resonant bass drum head that prominently features the branding of the company on the front. But maybe you want to change that up with your band name, a different iteration of your favorite company's logo, or maybe you bought your kit used and it didn't have the original logo head. For most, the simplest option is to purchase a pre-branded head from many of the numerous online retailers, but this often comes with a pretty expensive price tag, sometimes around $70 or $80. If you're willing to do a little work yourself, you can purchase a decal from anywhere from $5 to $20, and you're going to save yourself a ton of money. If you're like me, before you apply a new logo, you'll want to remove the branding of the drumhead company. No offense to Evans, Remo, or Aquarian, but I like the front head to strictly have the drum company branded across the front. The process for this is simple if you have an ebony or clear head. If you want a fiber skin style head or a coated textured head, you'll want to be a little more careful, but the process can also be done. You just need to take some goof off and a paper towel, cloth, or an extra toothbrush to wipe away the branding. I like to apply the goof off to a cloth or paper towel first, and then quickly move over to the head to start removing the logo. But if you find it not working, it won't do too much damage to apply the goof off directly onto the head first. It's going to take a few tries to get this done, and I've had all sorts of experiences with this from coming off super easily to being a huge pain, but if you stay patient and are thorough, it'll come off entirely. Now to applying your new logo. If you do a quick Google search for any brand name and the word decal, you'll find plenty of sites to purchase a new logo decal from. But I've had great luck working with independent sellers on sites like Etsy. I've also found some great people to work with who will take a logo of yours and turn it into a decal in case you're looking to add something a little more personal to the front of your drums. In the drum I'm working on today, I purchased my decals from David Raouf, or R. David R. as he's known on YouTube. If you reach out to him through Instagram, I'm sure he'd be happy to help you out for a fair price. You don't get many second chances with these decals, so the biggest precaution you'll want to take is making sure your decal is aligned exactly as you want. I like to take a piece of tape and align the decal on the head and tape it down on one side. I also like having the head in place so I can use my tension rods as a sort of leveling reference, but if your logo is simple enough, you might be able to skip that step. Once you've got the decal taped onto the head, you can remove a small piece of the paper backing and cut that section off. You can reapply this portion of the decal and now lift up the other side of the decal with the backing still in place. While removing the tape, peel away the rest of the backing. Now you can start to reapply the decal and it should remain in the exact place you had it aligned before. Once you're done putting the entire decal down, you can take a credit card or gift card to squeegee the decal flat before removing the clear front piece. And with that, you're all set and ready to go. That's all there is to this quick tip. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Until the next time, thanks. Thank you.